Hi Virgo, welcome to your Astro Mojo. I'm your astrologer Lisa Perron and this is your general Western astrology forecast for May 2016. The Sun will occupy your solar ninth house sector of higher education and travel for the majority of this month. With the Sun transiting here Virgo there is a possibility of new opportunities to advance your education as well as to perhaps get away on a nice vacation. May's lucky stars begin on the 1st with the Sun in Taurus in a lovely aspect to Neptune in Pisces. This aspect will be in force for the next few days and it's uh, sparkling energy beneficial to all the earth signs of Taurus, Virgo and Capricorn. It's perfect energy for artists, entertainers, musicians and creative types to find inspiration and create beauty. It could also mean a golden opportunity presenting itself for people lucky enough to be aspected by this transit. One of the best aspects of the month is on the 3rd when the Sun in Taurus makes a lucky star or an Earth trine to Jupiter in Virgo. The Sun is also approaching a trine with Pluto in Capricorn that's exact on the 7th and it's also will be joining up with Mercury, the messenger of the gods. Now normally I would say this is a wonderful time to start new projects, new beginnings, uh, start a business, new business enterprises, but with five planets currently in retrograde motion, not quite so much. It still could be, just a little less uh, vim and vigor than there normally would be with such an aspect. It, it hinders it down just a wee bit. It's a slower paced energy. It's not really a time that's auspicious for taking important action like starting a business or getting married. Uh, it's time to chill out really and reflect on your situation. Give yourself a reboot. Your ruling planet Mercury went retrograde or in a backward station on April 29th at 24 degrees of Taurus. Mercury is known as, like I said, as the messenger of the gods and it governs all forms of communication, writing, speech. Taurus is a stubborn fixed sun sign and does not like to be rushed or forced into anything. With Mercury retrograde in Taurus it can influence people's lives to slow down and they think things through longer before they reach a decision. So if you really insist on an answer during this time it very likely may be no. The first 10 days of May in fact the planets Mercury, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn and Pluto are all retrograde or in an off-kilter slowed down energy. During a retrograde transit there is usually a higher chance than average of missed appointments, problems associated with communications, travel chaos, computer crashes, electronic and mechanical problems and general confusion. That said Mercury retrograde is a great time uh, for a redo or to finish up projects you've already begun. On the 6th we have a super, uh, a new moon super moon at 16 degrees of Taurus. This is a good time to attend to your finances and make solid plans for the future. It's also a good time for pampering yourself, relaxing and gardening a little bit. Why not enjoy a lovely meal with family or loved ones? On the 10th Jupiter which is now direct makes a lovely star angle with Venus and Taurus. A new love interest or a business proposition may present itself at this time. It's also a great day for a date, a lovely dinner or a little romance. Venus, the planet of love and money, is currently in the earth sign of Taurus until the 24th. Venus in Taurus casts a sensual energy on people and encourages us to indulge in all forms of pleasure such as luxury items, good food, art, as well as things of beauty and beautiful people. This sparkling Venus energy will give the earth signs of Taurus, Capricorn and Virgo extra charisma, charm and allure for the next three weeks. So this would be a great time to ask for a favor because other people will see you as irresistible. On the 13th it's a good time for love and romance when Venus at 17 degrees of Taurus makes a harmonious angle to Pluto and Capricorn. People at this time will be more romantic and seek out the finer things in life. This is another perfect night for a romantic gourmet dinner or pampering oneself. On the 21st 
we have a full moon at one degree of Sagittarius, putting an emphasis on higher education, long-term travel, and worldly pursuits. This may, energy may have some of you feeling uh, energized, and it could bring a situation to completion or an end. Influencing this full moon is Mars, which is right beside the moon and opposite the sun. Uh, it's going to give the moon a little bit more of a jolt of caffeine or adrenaline, so to speak. Uh, Mars energy can make people jumpy and anxious. Uh, it'll add a little drama and impatience and maybe urgency to the situation. Mercury finally stations direct on the 21st, or on May 22nd at 14 degrees of Taurus and life will begin to get back to normal. However, it is best to wait until Mercury leaves its shadow phase on June 9th when it reaches 24 degrees of Taurus, just to be extra sure. Business travel and communications will run smoother at that time. Watch my video or visit my website for more information on Mercury retrograde in Taurus. Harness the energy of the stars by carrying a lucky crystal gemstone such as aquamarine for protection while traveling, abundance, and to improve your mojo. And make sure to watch your May video horoscope forecast with a lucky crystal recommendation for your sun sign, moon, and ascendant. If you like my videos, please show your support by liking and subscribing to my channel. Please subscribe. I do appreciate it. Thank you. These have been the transits and general forecast for May 2016, but they will only affect you personally if you have planets affected by those signs and degrees. For more information, personal readings, or questions, order your in-depth astrology reading with me based on your date, location, and time of birth at astromojo.com in-depth readings. Take your time in all you do this month and you'll get through the retrograde planets just fine. Until next time, lovelies, I send you love and light. Take care.